Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool. Enjoy the video. Oh, no, no. Like, okay, so, okay, okay. Uh, Quick, I, I don't, actually, I don't think you've heard this story before. So, not so quick, but also quick story time before I actually end stream, right? So, the last game, the last campaign, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean back and get comfortable for this one, because this one is a f doozy, let me tell you, right? So, the last D&D &D game that I played as a player, before I made this whole ass thing, right? all 70 plus pages of this the last game i played in as a player was with a with a with an old friend ex-friend actually ex-friend of mine and he was like yo i wanna i wanna do a DD thing with the group i want to be demon slayer related and you can do homebrew you can do whatever the fuck you want right so i'm like well, you know, I don't really give a fuck about Demon Slayer, but I'm always down to play a little bit of D&D, right? So, the majority of the people that were playing had not played D&D for real, for real before. Like, they might have seen some memes, might have played in a very poorly put together one shot, but have never, like, actually played anything consistent. So, they're like, can we do this? Can we do that? And he links them to the to the D&D uh, 5e homebrew wiki page and he more or less said hey go crazy right basically saying that all of homebrew is allowed before immediately adding uh just make sure it's like you know you're not doing no god shit right so like okay cool dope so i took a character which was basically Raiden from an older cyberpunk game that i played and that dm was a shit dm too but I basically took took that character, which was again essentially Raiden, and I made him into a human. Right? I removed all, all the cybernetic junk, did this, did that, and wrote up the story or the backstory, picked all my stuff, had my gear. I was set up as a level one character, ready to go right out the gate. You know, I did. I I crossed my T's and dotted my eyes. I did what was necessary, because that's what he asked for, right? Did all that. It's cool. Bet. Run it up. So, everyone's, like, submitting their characters, because he said, oh, get it done by, like, I think, like, a week, two weeks from now, or whatever. Have my shit done. Ready to go. And so, he's going over everyone's sheet. Mind you, it's, it, it, it's the day before we're supposed to actually play for real. And he's going through people's sheets, and some people in the campaign were just straight up, like, descendants of, like, Tanjiro and Mitsuri and all them. Like, actual descendants of the of, of, of the main character, side characters from Demon Slayer, like, dead ass, right? So, he's letting their shit slide, letting their shit slide, blah, blah, blah. So, he gets to my character, and he's like, oh, your character's not gonna work. I'm like, how? And he's like, oh, your character doesn't actually have lightning powers and can't actually do like half the thing in his sheet. And I'm like, the fuck you mean he can't? And he started going on about, well, you know, the stuff in Demon Slayer isn't actually real and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, hold on a minute. You said it was going to be Demon Slayer related not actually demon slayer bro and then i said if i can't do my very very watered down lightning electrical shit then like half the people playing can't do their shit either like at all bro so we're going back and forth on this mind you he was like pining for me to play in the campaign too so i'm like bro if half this shit wasn't going to work, you should have told me this like a week or two ago because 
I told you what I was going to do with an older character in a in a campaign that I played. I told you I was gonna make basically human Raiden from Metal Gear fucking Rising, bro. You knew this. And so you wait until the day before to tell me? Type shit is that? So he's he 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 links me th this fucking video shit and whatever, like explaining how the shit actually works, and I'm like, I know. As much as it pisses me off that the that the creator has said that the visual effects that happen on screen aren't actually happening, right? But again, you you gave me clearance on this character. You want me to play in this shit. You said that basically all homebrew was allowed except for becoming actually God and all this other shit. And again, you got people who are like actual descendants of the Demon Slayer cast being able to do all this creepy, cra crazy, flippy, dippy, whatever magic shit. And you're not going to let me do my shit because the homebrew that I was using, it was, you know, I had I had blade mode. I had the little AR vision shit, but I, I, I tweaked it so that I had to be near like uh, uh, an electrical source, like an outlet, a light whatever to be able to you know actually turn that shit on if i'm in the middle of fucking nowhere it's not gonna work even if i have my phone and shit on me because again no electrical source but i tweaked this so that it would make sense so that it would be fair right he's saying this and saying that and i'm like dog it is the night before we're supposed to play bro you telling me to make all these changes and it's too late it's too late for this shit because you're literally not telling anyone else to make any changes that's that's also like not fair as fuck that's not fair at all it got to the point where at that point the codium uh had joined the voice call like you know mid-argument and she's like what the fuck is going on so i explain my side he explains his side and she goes address addressing the the actual dm bro you're full of shit why the fuck are you saying make all these basically tell him make a completely different fucking character and change his whole fucking backstory the day before we're supposed to play that's not fair you you can't do that and again she reiterated my point of saying if if any of this is going to be a problem you should have said something before now like as we were in calls making our characters and shit you should have said something then not wait till the day before at that point he didn't really have any other leg to stand on so he's like fine fuck it whatever so uh comes play time right we got because we all we all use like roll 20 and shit right we got no maps no visuals no like nothing outside of basically our tokens on the map and shit and me and my mans were like bro why is this blank we helped you get everything set up we helped you type everything out where's all the maps we gave you what's all the assets and shit that we explained to you how to set up why is this blank and he goes oh no it's gonna be theater of the mind and i'm like uh theater of the mind is not a very good idea for people who have actually never played DD before because you also got to keep in mind again i'm telling you, you also gotta keep in mind we're playing with people who are like visual learners and can better pay attention when there's something to look at on screen and you're also like not typing anything out or recording anything so like what are we doing here but you know, we said, hey, you know, this, hey, it's your game. You do what the fuck you want. But if it falls through, it falls through, right? So, we're going through the shit, blah, 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 blah. Very poor descriptions, whatever, whatever, whatever. And before long, I had come to the realization that instead of playing, um, what was gonna be like a, a demon slayer themed or not even themed just demon slayer something campaign um it was fan fiction demon slayer call of cthulhu basically right 
and I mean like shit was shit was irrationally difficult like the 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 the, the stat checks were way too damn high for a bunch of level ones uh he's talking about uh oh if you fight that thing you're gonna die mind you we didn't have a session zero at all it was just full sand from minute one and he's like heavily discouraging us from doing this and doing that even though he said that it is perfectly okay to have in our backstories that we may have a couple of demons under our belt already right it's him going no you can't do that that never happened blah 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 if you fight that you're gonna die you shouldn't do that and he spared no no moment saying that oh i'm gonna take your lowest role or your lowest stats and i'm gonna use them against you etc 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 and he he gave people like main character spotlight and shit people being the characters who were actual descendants of the demon slayer crew uh giving them main character moments uh giving them all the magic items the cool shit the unique skills uh letting them actually create like fire and love dust and insects and shit happening on screen uh giving them all the pivotal moments etc 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 and i'm just like yo this is ass what are we doing here why why have the same two people been the central focus in the same scene for like three hours dude and he also kept trying to set up my character to, to get like brutally fucking murdered and i'm like you know what man this shit ain't gonna work this, this shit ain't gonna work and so uh, we we only ever had like three sessions of this by the way and by session three that's when people were, were, were like you know what we don't want to play this anymore because you the dm have no idea what you're doing you're specifically targeting people you're not letting people have their own spotlight you're giving shit to people behind the scenes that no one else has even had a chance of getting close to you're ignoring people's backstories this isn't fun and it isn't fair so he threw a fucking fit about it but everyone was right in what they were saying and it was because of that that train wreck of a whatever the hell that was supposed to be that led to me making this this whole thing was well like you know what i'm tired of playing in shit games and shit campaigns i'm tired of playing in bad homebrew stuff i'm gonna take the time to sit down and make my own little thing with a story that can go in any direction granted it's always gonna start the same but it can go in any direction classes unique gameplay whatever whatever it's all gonna be based off of 5e but I'm going to make something that isn't going to be dog shit. Because that thing that I just got done talking about was dog shit. And I refuse, refuse to play in anything close to that ever again. Yeah, it was the, it was the last nail in the coffin for me being fed up with uh, bad homebrew campaigns. I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'll make my own. And I did. Which, again, the all of the first iteration of the campaign is currently uploaded on YouTube in a nice little playlist. It's like 133 hours, and it hasn't ended yet because, you know, life stuff caused it to go on hiatus. But it will finish at some point. But, again, that's version one. I've, I've ran this with, like six about to be eight different groups by now and shit is nice because i've taken things that i've witnessed from really bad dms and i've taken things that i've witnessed from really good dms and i'm like yeah i don't want to be a bad dm i want to be a good dm i want to make sure people have fun i want to make sure people shit is fair and balanced i want to make sure everyone has their spotlight in one way or another